W. We have uh, explored the potential of this China SIF Glock made by Bell. We have a uh, test for a film magazine and we find out uh, we have used a uh, plastic VTAC WE made in Taiwan magazine with a uh, purple nine ball hop up. Sorry, not hop up, it's the, uh, the port rubber. So let's see the accuracy. We have uh, test the power. It's quite constant to 0 0.8 joules. And we have also uh, fixed the problem of this slide lock. So now it should be okay. And we are now going to test with 0 0.28 dB on the left side of the target. Okay, two more ones. Still have rounds inside. Oh, well, it surprised me. I thought it couldn't complete all the 25 rounds with the lock back, but now it's okay. Okay, let's see the target. For the first few shots, I try to aim at the center, but I found out the BB4 on the left side, so I manually correct a bit to the right side, so you can see the grouping of this. And we are going to charge the second magazine after I get more experience with this magazine. Okay. Okay. Um, first magazine was the WE plastic magazine, so now I'm going to test with the uh, China magazine. I insert uh, 15 rounds. Uh, the most important thing is the base plate. You have to swap to the China one because of this cut and because there's a map well, so that's why we cannot use the Tokyo Malui one. And second test on the right side of the target. Now I will aim slightly to the top right angle to see. Okay, let's see. Actually, we, we did some uh, some job on this magazine to make it smoother, but some of the quality is not as good. I was using the same weight, 0 0.2 XBB. I was aiming to here, so now the BB4 back to the uh, there. So I would say uh, this is original hobbit rubber. I would say if you change to maple leaf or some quality hobbit rubber, it will be back to normal. This is not a bad Glock with such a cheap price. If need to enhancement, you will get lots from this gun. Thank you.